It's finally here. MIUI 13 India Stable based on Android 12 is now available for the POCO X3 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And MIUI 13 based on Android 12 India Stable version being 13.0.1.0 is finally available for the POCO X3 Pro. Now do note, at the time of recording this video, this build is in a closed stage, which means it is for pilot testers only, but in case you want to know how to install it, video for that using TWRP recovery can be found in the description of the video. And whenever it is available to everybody, we will have a new video, which again will be linked in the description and in the pinned comment on this video. Now, of course, Android version is 12, MIUI version is 13. You do have the new MIUI 13 logo available for you. And the security patch is from February 2022. If you go into all specs, you will notice that it now tells you that you are using your memory extension or extended RAM. Right now, we are using 2 GB of memory extension. How do you enable or disable that? You can go into settings, additional settings, scroll down, memory extension, bam, here it is. The toggle is enabled, which means we are using an additional 2 GB of internal storage for our extended RAM. And before you ask me, hey Manji, is memory extension or extended memory of any use? In my humble opinion, it is just wastage of internal storage. A detailed video about that can be found in the description of the video. Then of course you have the famous poop launcher with its broken animations yet to be fixed. And yes, they have a new bug wherein you have a white background on the gesture bar. The gestures themselves are pretty smooth, but this bug is really annoying. Then as for your scrolling of the Google feed, it is still laggy in 120, it still lags. Poop launcher has been broken for almost two years now and that is how it is going to stay. Next up, if you head into your settings and then if you go into the special features, you will see you have something called sidebar. Now, once you enable it, you can of course enable it to show all the time or you can disable this toggle and show it while playing games or while playing videos. You can change the toolbox position. Yes, video toolbox has been renamed to sidebar. So you can put it on the left or you can put it on the right bam here it is this is how it is going to look like you can of course add any application which you want to add to your toolbox and once that is done you should be good to go other than that any application which you choose over here is going to open in a floating window and it does look pretty cool but again your recents here poop launcher does not have the option of floating windows then another new feature or a feature which has changed slightly is your 100 mode. So if you go into settings, additional settings, 100 mode, bam, here it is. You will notice that the UI here is a bit different. Why? Because this is Android 12 implementation of 100 mode. The gesture is a bit wonky. It is not perfect. So MIUI's implementation of 100 mode has been replaced with 100 mode from Android 12, which is Google's implementation. Then if you go into your accessibility here and if you enable the accessibility menu you will have this small floating bar over here go back go to the accessibility button and you can now configure the transparency of this floating button using this slider over here you can also change the size switch between small and large and you also have a toggle to enable or disable the fade when not in use option then we can have a look at the control center. So yes, you still get the MIUI 12, MIUI 12.5 style control center, but in case you want the new MIUI 13 style, you just have to sideload an APK. We have a video for that, which can be found in the description of this video. This is how the power menu looks like. And this here is how your volume panel looks like. Again, nothing new over here. Everything is same old, same old. Then we can also have a look at our screen recorder to see if you have the option of recording your internal audio and microphone at the same time. You do have multiple frame rate options, but do you have the option of internal audio and microphone at the same time? No, Google added it quite some time back and Xiaomi and MIUI are yet to implement that, which I think would be appreciated by a lot of gamers out there. 
Next up, we can open the camera application and what I'm trying to check over here is the feature of privacy for your documents. So with MIUI China, when you go into document mode, you see your option over here in the middle, which lets you add a privacy watermark. I do not see that option over here in the global build. But something new which you will notice is, let us say you're trying to record a video, take a picture, you will notice a green dot on the top left. If I access my notifications, here it is. You can see it is telling me that it is being used by the camera application, which is your video camera. And similarly, it should also tell me about the microphone bam there it is it is telling me about the microphone as well so this is something which google added with android 12 and xiaomi has implemented it but i do not see the toggles to turn this option off and those of you who still want to add a privacy watermark to your pictures all you need to do is open the gallery application go to any picture open it three dot menu on the bottom right here and you need to say protective watermark add whatever watermark you want to do tap on the check mark tap on the check mark on the top right of your screen and bam there it is you can see the watermark has been successfully added to my picture Next up, we can have a look at the Game Turbo application. What is the style? Do you get the new one? Do you get the old one? So here it is. I have activated Game Turbo for me remote. Here it is. This is the Game Turbo which you're going to get. This here is the old style of Game Turbo. You still do not get the new one. However, I think we do have a separate video showing you how to enable that again. That video can be found in the description of this video now with respect to material you you do have some implementation of material you not that your whole ui is going to change so here is the clock application you will notice that the accent color right now is bluish let us go ahead and change the wallpaper so we will go into the wallpaper setting profile wallpapers and before i forget you do get the new miui 13 static wallpapers but you do not get your molten glass live wallpapers and other new live wallpapers which they added with me ui 13 of course how do you get those video for that can again be found in the description of the video anyways let us go ahead and switch over to this wallpaper which has a greenish color and now if we go back to our clock application you will notice that the accent color has switched over to the green one so yes you will find certain places wherein you will see a minute or a minor implementation of material you but that's about it your control center your volume panel all of those things do not change then we can also head over to your battery section because herein you will notice that you have your battery saver profiles so you can use your save battery or or you can use balanced or you can use performance of course you have a toggle for ultra battery saver mode as well and you have some more details about your battery then if you're wondering what about the new me sans font where is that munchie well my dear friends let us go into display and check for text size nope you do not get the new me sans font either and for your refresh rate you have only 60 and 120 no 90 fps pubg either then with respect to your widgets do you get the new miui 13 widgets unfortunately the answer to that my dear friends is no you get the old school widgets and do note this here is poop launcher and even if i go ahead and change my minus one screen to the application vault does not mean that i am going to get the new miui 13 widgets i still have to do with the old style of widgets and that unfortunately is sad but true and last but not the least what about your ability to uninstall system apps let us go into settings and then we can go into the apps section you do have the menu of uninstalled system apps but can you actually uninstall them let us go into the application info of file manager you can only uninstall the updates if i go back into the app info for file manager you will notice the option of disabling is also grayed out so forget about uninstalling any system apps either something which they made a big deal ever since miui 12.5 then we can jump over to the benchmarks now how do we run our benchmarks we run four back to back and to do everything at 120 ambient temperature of 25 to 30 degrees celsius and after those four back-to-back and 2 -back we run a cpu throttle 
test. The benchmark scores surprisingly for N22 are definitely better than MIUI 13 global. Yes, MIUI 13 India has better benchmark scores than MIUI 13 global but an important thing to note over here is that the temperature increase on MIUI 13 India is also more when compared to MIUI 13 global and the same might apply for your battery drain as well but even till date even till now i think miui 12.5.4 global and miui 12.5.3 india have given us the best consistent benchmark scores and for your cpu throttle test again i think there is some room for improvement it did throttle to 84 percent on miui india as compared to 89 percent on miui 13 global Benchmark scores aside, what about the braking issue? Well, Poco Xiaomi has never officially acknowledged the braking issue, so nobody knows whether they have fixed it or not. If and when somebody breaks their device on MIUI 13, we will know that the issue is still persistent and it exists. And there it is, peeps. That was what is new, what is missing. A first look of MIUI 13 india stable based on android 12 running on the poco x3 pro and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you